In this video, we'll explain why alternator mounting holes with SE pad designs are different sizes. First, let's review the alternator pad mounting for heavy-duty diesel engines. Manufacturers follow the SE standard with six holes drilled and tapped into the engine block or mounting bracket. This is done to accommodate both long and short mounting pad arrangements. Equipping the engine with both mounting types allows for flexibility during assembly and throughout the service life. Both pad mount styles will interchange on an application that shares a common front mount position. The pair of tapped holes closest to the drive belt will always be used to properly secure and align the drive end and pulley to the accessory belt system. They are spaced 190 millimeters apart. The pair of back holes will allow for either a short or long pad mount alternator. Now let's discuss why we have two alternator mounting hole sizes. First, the small mounting holes in the drive-in are intended to be tight to the mounting bolt. This ensures proper pulley alignment, which is essential for belt life and system reliability. The other end has larger holes to allow for variations in the bracket and alternator assembly. These holes are mainly for securing the alternator in position. When mounting an alternator, the mounting bolt should be placed in the drive-in first and tightened only after the other end has been properly placed into position. If you have any questions, visit us at delcarimi.com or contact us at the number listed on the screen.